Hey guys and welcome back. So now what I want to do is I want to turn our attention to removable media file systems. Now with respect to removable media, one of the file systems I want to discuss with you is one called ISO 9660. So here is the deal. Back in the day, we had these things called CD-ROMs. Now, of course, I'm being a little bit facetious. CD-ROMs are not quite as Jurassic <laughs> and prehistoric as I'm making out here. But what was decided was that CD-ROMs could actually be expanded in their use case to not just be a storage medium for music, but also a storage medium for your typical data that you would see on a Linux system or a Windows system. Now, the big problem here was a lack of standardization. No real standard existed, so every single vendor, whether that was Microsoft or whether that was Apple, they had their own method to store the data. That means that the idea of having portable data on your CD-ROM, well, it really was not quite so portable in that, due to the lack of standardization, there was a lot of restrictions on where you could transfer that data between. And eventually, a standard was developed called HSF. But quickly after this was developed, the International Standards Organization, the ISO, they developed ISO 9660. Now, with respect to ISO 9660, if you prefer, <laughs> We have some extensions we have to be aware of. So let me tell you the three extensions that we have to know for the examination. The first one is called Joliet. Now what the Joliet extension did, it allowed greater flexibility in the naming of files. The next extension is called the Rock Ridge extension. Similar to Joliet, this would also provide greater flexibility with respect to our file names. And lastly, we had the El Torito extension. Now what this extension did was that it would allow CD-ROM to actually be used as a bootable device. So you know the way you can boot an operating system directly from a CD-ROM. This is the type of thing we are talking about right here. So now that we are aware of the different file systems that we can have with respect to our removable media, let me just briefly touch upon a command that we definitely want to know for the examination. This is the make or the mk iso fs command. So what this command allows us to do, it allows us to create an iso 9660 file system and it will allow us to utilize those extensions we just talked about. So let's briefly explore this command then, shall we? Let's say that I wanted to create an ISO image of some type of files I have on my system. So if I go into, let's just say, my downloads folder right here, I don't actually have anything, but I'll just add in file1.txt and just say this is some random file. If I save this, go back out. Now, obviously, this is not a lot of information, but let's just imagine we had way more information within this directory right here, and I wanted to be able to save this information so that I could burn it to a CD-ROM disk. Let me show you how we could do this using the mkisosf command. I can say mkisofs, and I'll say dash o for the output, i.e. what is the name of the ISO file I want to create? I'll just say my download.iso, again call this anything you wish. And now I want to specify what it is I want to back up here. So I'll just choose anything within my documents directory. Now, before I do this, I have additional options. If I want to invoke the Joliet extensions, I can do dash J. Whereas if I want to invoke Rock Ridge extensions, I can do dash R. And that's what I'll do right now. So I'll just hit enter. If I do an LS, now we can see we have actually created this ISO file right here. So now I have a file with Rockridge extensions that ultimately I could burn to a disk and use as removable media. Now with respect to the examination, the tool we want to know is the make ISO FS command. So understanding that that can create an ISO image, which we use for removable media on CD-ROMs, and we do have the option for extensions which provide improvements and additional flexibility to the original ISO standard. Okie doke, so that is us for removable media. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.